before we open this bag and take a look inside at what we've got here, let's just kind of look at the progression of what Alien Gear Holsters has done over the last couple of years. You know, it started out with their cloak tuck. This is a hybrid holster, leather, plastic shell on here. This has been a great holster. It's gotten very supple over the last couple years of use. You know, I thought this was the end all. Nothing was going to be greater. Then they came out with the Cloak Tuck 2.0, which was this model. And this had some neoprene on it on the back. You know, it had kind of this uh, leatherette type uh, front on it that goes behind your pistol. They upgraded with a new kind of logo there. Same great plastic shell, same mounting hardware that you'll find on any other Alien Gear holster, so you can swap these out, which is really cool. You know, and I also have this one that's another original cloak tuck they use for a little 1911. And then probably the one that I get the most use out of is this one. This is kind of their outside the waistband concealable holster. And, you know, I use this one when I'm out in the woods. And it's just kind of a, a real simple design, goes onto your belt. But now Alien Gear has a new model. This is the Cloak Tuck 3.0. So we're going to take a look inside the bag. Whoop, right there. And see what the 3.0 is all about. The original Cloak Tuck was great. I couldn't think of anything getting better. The Cloak 2.0 awesome holster and now we have something that's very reminiscent to the 2.0 but it's a bit different it's been upgraded so let's take a quick look at some of these upgrades looking at the holster the silhouette is almost identical to the cloak tuck 2.0 feeling it you can tell you're holding something that's much different it has a different feel you know, it does have, you know, like that nice neoprene on the back, but on the front, this rubber, this texture, this alien skin, as they put it, is nice, soft and pliable, but it does have a benefit. It adds to the retention of your pistol. The, the little bumps and stuff that they have on, these, uh, on this alien skin texture adds retention to your pistol. It's great. Push it in, you can tell that there's resistance. You pull it out, you feel the resistance. Compared to last year's model, the 2.0, that had kind of this like this leather back on it, when you slide your pistol into it, there's absolutely no resistance. You know, and that could be something that, you know, maybe I don't want resistance when I pull my pistol out. Or maybe I do want resistance because if I'm riding my motorcycle, I don't want it to bounce out. It still has good retention, it still holds the pistol in, but, you know, it just doesn't have this retention that this rubberized grip has. This is an upgrade, and I like it. I do. I didn't think I would at first. I just thought it was a gimmick. No, it works, and it works great. So what are some of the things that uh, they've upgraded that we can't see? Well, in between the layers, for instance, they've got now a spring steel core. The spring steel core... You know, you don't notice it when you're wearing it, but, you know, if you push on the back side of it here, you'll notice that there is a rigidity that the Cloak Tuck 2.0 doesn't have. This has like a plastic core on it, and look how flimsy that is. It just kind of flops around. Having that spring steel core helps hold your pistol into place. You're not going to have to worry about it wearing out and getting all floppy on you. It's going to stay rigid. Also on the... 2.0 you've got these different metal clips those don't come out those are stapled into place and look at the back side here you've got all these different metal clips that are going to go against your skin it was never a problem for me but for some it was on the 3.0 look at this they're all covered up and you've only got two metal clips that are exposed to your skin but don't fret you can go ahead and you can change the cant and you can change the right height by using the supplied little grommets to change that around like you could on the 2.0 makes it a whole lot cleaner and you can still get all of that adjustability that you're used to now this model did come with plastic clips 
These are inch and a half. These will fit over an inch and a half or smaller belt. So if you're running like this 511 two inch belt, you know what folks, it's not gonna work because it won't clip into place. But say like with this SOE inch and a half belt, it's gonna work just perfect. You know, between this SOE belt and like my Blade Tech, you know, this thing is a match made in heaven. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you folks, the more I get to handling this holster, the more I get to using it, the more and more that I am falling in love with this thing. Just like I fell in love with the Cloak Tucked 1 and 2.0. Inside the packaging, you also get this literature. This is specific for the 3.0. It talks about how to put your holster on if you don't know how to do it, how to wear it, how to adjust your right height and your cant. It's, all the, it's got all that great information in it that you're going to need to use your holster for the first time. Also included, you get the Ironclad Triple Guarantee. This has got their 30-day test drive, their free shell trades, and their forever warranty. It was this forever warranty that drew me into this company for the first time when I purchased my original Cloak Tuck two years ago. And you know what? With the shell trades, it's... It couldn't be easier. You know, I sent it back to them. I put a note in there and said, hey, I want a 1911 shell. And I sent them my 226 shell and they sent me that new one. And it will work with my new Cloak Tuck 3.0 if I want. This ironclad triple guarantee is definitely worth the price of admission, folks. If you're worried about not liking your Alien Gear holster, you know what? They will refund your money. You know, when I first got this holster in the mail, I got to looking around and I said, hey, where's my big bag of extra parts? You know, with all other holsters I've ever received from Alien Gear, I always got a little baggie of parts. You know, this is the baggie. This is a baggie I've always got. It's got all these different little rubber spacers. It's got screws. It's got Allen wrenches. And on this one, I got this thing. I got a green plastic thing with an alien on it, but oh look, I flipped it over and quickly realized they are now including the extra free spare parts in this clever, cool packaging. You not only got all your screws here, but you've got your Allen wrench there that clips into place. You flip it over, all these little rubber doodads, those are your spacers. They're all in that alien cool green instead of black, and you get this little rubber alien pendant earring thing that I don't know what I'll ever do with but it still looks cool and it's rubber just like everything else but hey what a cool little marketing ploy that thing is just great it'll stick around forever the alien gear cloak tuck 3.0 you know it's it's a worthy upgrade it's worth the extra money you know if you want to spend an extra eight bucks to get a great quality holster this is the one you should buy Still coming in at under $50. This thing is a great value. There are other holsters on the market. They're going to run you a whole lot more. You know, but they still have all these other different holsters if you don't want this one. They still offer the 2.0. The 2.0 is still a great holster. I still enjoy mine. I'm still going to enjoy using it. You know, it's just going to depend on what kind of pistol I want to carry for the day. And they've still have in their original lineup, they've got the original Cloak Tuck. This is their original hybrid plastic shell with their leather backing. It's a great classic design. It's proven. It's well used. This one I used for my little compact Kimber 1911. The other one I used for a Glock. It's well worn. But you know what? This 3.0 I think is going to be my new go-to. This is an incredible holster. It's definitely well worth every penny. If you are looking to get your very first Alien Gear holster, this is the one you want. Great retention, great build quality. It still conforms to your skin. There's no break-in period. It's made in America. It's great quality. You got the ironclad triple guarantee. You cannot go wrong. So the choice is going to be up to you. You know, what's going to be your personal preference? Is it going to be something that you can wear on the outside of your waistband that you can cover with a t-shirt? Is it going to be something that has a leather backing that you can uh, wear against your skin? Is it going to be this 3.0 with this new alien skin technology? But you know what? They feel so good. 
It's almost like a fine Italian sports car. When you sink into the leather seats for the very first time and it just kind of conforms to your body, that's how these Alien Gear holsters feel, just like an Italian sports car. So anyway, hopefully you found this video to be a little bit insightful and a little bit informative. If you have any questions or anything about uh, Alien Gear holsters, don't forget to hit them up personally. Otherwise, I'll just probably give you my biased point of view. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Shoot straight. Catch you on the firing line.